Hi students, welcome back. Now let's see what is a regular expression. So what do you mean by regular expression? So in the theory of computations, you can came across this regular expressions. What it mean? The language accepted by finite automata, the language, whatever the language you are taken, that language accepted by a finite automata can easily be described by a simple expressions. That simple expressions you call it as a regular expressions. Okay, the language that is accepted by a finite automata can easily be described by a simple expressions that we call it as a regular expressions. It is most effective way to represent any language. So, the regular expressions is the most effective way to represent any type of language. So, the language accepted by some regular expressions or referred to as a regular language. So, whatever the language is accepted by regular expressions. So, the language that is accepted by regular expressions, we call it as a regular language. Okay, language accepted by regular expressions, we call it as a regular languages. A regular expressions can also be described as a sequence of pattern that defines a string. An expression can be represented in the form of a sequence of patterns, which defines the a string. That sequence of patterns, we call it as a string. So, for instance, let me take uh, a regular expression that is x star. Okay, x star, we call it as exclosure. Exclosure means zero or more occurrence of x. So, whenever you are seeing this x star or any language, any language with a star, it can be generated by the empty string that is epsilon, x, xx, xxx, x, 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 x cube, x square, x, x power 4 like that. So, whenever you are seeing x power star, that is the exclosure, uh, that is a clean closure means the zero the zero or more occurrence of x. Suppose if you are seeing a regular expression with x plus, x plus, this is x plus, which means one or more occurrence of x. So, here the it can generate, it starts with the x, it doesn't take the zero. Okay, x plus doesn't take, start, doesn't start with zero, it starts with one only. But whereas x star, it starts with the zero. So, that's why he had taken epsilon x, x, x. Whereas x plus means it starts with one. So, you have to take starting x, don't take the epsilon, which indicates the zero. So, this is where you can represent the regular expressions. So, let me explain you the different operations on regular languages. So, with the help of these operations, you can easily uh, construct the regular expressions. The operations on regular language. Suppose if you take two languages, that is a regular language L and M or two regular languages, their union, that is a sorry, uh, if language uh, Two languages L and M are two regular languages and their union is L union M is also union. So, here L union M, this is a two languages, L and M are two languages. This union is, represents a string, okay. That string that is S is in either in L or this string is either in present in M. So, S is present in L or S is present in M. That is a union operation. Next, intersection. The another operation is, operation is the intersection. Suppose if two languages, that is L and M or two regular languages and their intersection is also an intersection. That is, this can be represented as L intersection M. So, here L intersection M, they are, we are getting two strings. L consisting of S and M consisting of T. Whenever you are taking uh, L intersection M, L intersection M, it means it multiplies S into T, where S is in L language and T is in M language. Okay, S is in L language and T is in M language. Next is a clean closure. Another property is a clean closure. The clean closure, if L is in regular language, okay, whatever the L language that we have taken, that is in regular language, then its clean closure, that is L star, will also be regular language. So, L star is represented as, it's a zero or more occurrence of languages L. 
so that L star will start with the zero or more languages of L, whatever the language that is string consisting of, that strings you can be placed A plus B, A into B, A plus B star like that, anything. Okay, the clean closure is equal to zero or more occurrence of language L. So, these are the different properties of the regular language. Thank you.